Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're jumping into brows, and if you've been watching me for the past couple months, you know that I've been obsessed with this brow pencil by Benefit. It's the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade 5. So we're going to start on the tail, just using short strokes, sometimes long, but mostly short, and just going to fill in any sparse areas and kind of extend the tail a little bit. Going to blend everything out with my spoolie and then go on the other end of the eye. I lightly, lightly touch the front of the brow. I know it didn't really show it on the other brow, but you could see it right here. I lightly line the base of the brow and then just blend it up. I really don't fill in the front because I like to have it nice and natural. I'm using the 24 Brow Setter from Benefit as well to just flick these hairs into place. And then to conceal the brow and clean it up, I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC25. They don't make this little duo pack anymore. I got this like years ago when I still worked at MAC. So I'm just going to be highlighting the brow bone, pretty much cleaning it up and sharpening it. I fell back in love with this concealer for the brows. I like stopped using it for a while, started using liquids because I thought that it would help the dryness, but honestly it really doesn't matter. My eye over there is just going to be dry no matter what, so I have to like really put on some serious hydrating eye cream and then I'm good pretty much. For eye base, I'm using P. Louise base and I'm just putting this on with a fluffy brush, not going really, really too in depth with it. Packing it on, I've learned it just really dries my eye out, so just a tip if you feel like this base is drying you out a little bit just put it on with the fluffy brush and you will literally see the heavens it's so much better than packing it on especially if you have dry eyes i'm using the ColourPop ooh la la palette that they sent me and i'm using soft core with an e40 brush and i'm just blending this out and putting it in the crease and these shadows blend beautifully i've never tried ColourPop before i just started collaborating with them so I'm really excited to be using some new products. And this color is just gorgeous. Honestly, all of the shadows that I used for this tutorial looked really, really amazing. And for such an affordable brand, I, I appreciate it. So I'm just going to blend this out and then I'm gonna use Sandbar with a MAC 221 brush and I'm just going to blend this from the outer V into the middle of the lid. And you could just see I'm using little circular motions just to blend this in and some padding motions as well just to kind of bring the color in there without it being super, super harsh and just, you know, lightly blending it along. Now, for the first time, I finally picked up the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Shadows and I really, really love them. I got a little confused on how to use them at first, especially the matte side. I mean, the glitter side is very easy. The matte side I got a little confused in using, but they are really, really cool, beautifully blendable, and I actually use this side. This is Bubble Bath to outline where I wanted the ColourPop Super Shock shadows to go, but I thought this was going to be a little tacky, and it actually blends out very soft, just like a matte shadow, so I just used it to outline, and then I used Erase You, the Super Shock Shadow by ColourPop, and I used the brush at first, but honestly, these are way better with your fingers. They're so much more pigmented, and they lay much, much better, um, so I just put that over top, and then I wanted to use Slave to Pink, because damn, this fuchsia is gorgeous, so I put that in between the matte shadow and the race you and then I just started to blend it more towards the inner eye just because it looked really really beautiful on the eye and I still wanted that race you to pop out but I did really love the slave to pink it really just took my breath away pretty much and it blended out so beautifully so on the other eye, I'm putting on race you and then I'm just blending out to slave to pink and it's just such a pretty contrast and I'm just blending it out with a 40 just to make sure it's nice and soft and then I'm just reapplying a little bit of race you just to kind of stack it up there I'm using a little Jaclyn Hill brush from Morphe now I'm going to use Trove and I'm taking an e15 brush from Sigma and I'm just going to rub this on the upper lash line and kind of smoke out a little bit of liner I was going to do black liner, like a wing or something, but I actually really loved 
the way that this color turned out to be on the upper lash line. It just looks so beautiful and it's a really soft smoky liner and I just like the way it went with the whole look. So I'm just gonna put on some mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex and Diamonds mascara. If you have not checked this one out, it's so pretty, such pretty packaging. So I'm just going to put that on, fluff those lashes up. And then for lashes, I'm gonna use the Gigi Bell Lashes in Tutti. These are clear band lashes, so you can use them with or without liner. You guys can use code SUBBY for 20% off. Just letting you guys know if you didn't know that. I'm using the House of Lashes glue. Been loving this lately. I think it's my new favorite. So, so pretty and so easy. It's honestly, it gets tacky in two seconds. I don't have to really wait for it to dry and you only need a little bit. So I really do suggest trying that glue if you have not yet. I'm just gonna pop these babies on the other eye. And these just are so nice and fluffy, these lashes. They're not too crazy and that's what I love about them. Yes. Okay. Using Veil by Hourglass. This is an awesome primer. I'm just putting this all over my face. It gives you a tiny gray cast at first, but that's just the SPF. It has SPF 15 in there, and I've never noticed like flashback or anything. So, and it's oil free. So all my oily skin girls, you would love this primer. I'm using the NARS Super Radiance Boost. This is a new product. I'm loving it. It gives you such a beautiful glow you know, through the foundation. I'm just putting it on all the highlights of my face, down the nose, on the chin, and it just really made my skin glow beautifully. I'm using the NARS Sheer Glow with a Max Kabuki 3D HD brush from Sigma. I do have a discount count for Sigma 2. If you guys didn't know, I'm sure you guys do. Gianna, you can get some money off of your order. And I'm just blending this all out and bending it down to my neck. Brending it down! Brending it, dude. Sometimes, like, when I talk so much on voiceovers, my just my words just get all jumbled up, and it's fun, you know? <laughs> I'm using NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. Fell in love with this baby again. And I'm just putting it all over the under eye and on the nose and just bring it down to the little jowls of the cheeks. And I'm dancing with some Quiggy Blending Sponge from Tarte. I'm just going to press this into the skin and blend it out. Blend it on the nose as well. I really do love this concealer. I kind of forgot how much I loved it. I remember loving it when it was super, super hyped up and then, you know, Shape Tape came out and then just kind of took over everything. But this concealer is really, really amazing. I'm just going to put it underneath the cheekbones, kind of contour it out. And then I'm using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Banana Bread. I was listening to some good music, so that's why I'm dancing with every product that I show you guys. Anyways, I'm using the Quickie Blending Sponge again, just to kind of put and press this in. I'm gonna do it below the cheekbone as well. Slightly baking, nothing too heavy. And I'm gonna put it on the mouth area as well. I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Toasty Bronzer. I've been loving this for contour and slightly bronzer. I feel like this is more contour for me, but it does have that little warmth that does give me what I do want in a bronzer, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I do have to get their darker shade as well. I feel like once I get tanner towards the summer, I feel like I'm definitely going to need a darker shade. But I've been loving this. I'm using the F23 by Sigma to put this on. And I'm just, you know, very lightly contouring. I'm not doing anything super crazy. Going down the jawline, you know, nothing too crazy. I did want to add a little bit more warmth, so I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Just lightly putting this on, barely touched it. Um, so just putting that all over. And then I'm using the Kitten Baby Blush by Kylie Cosmetics with an F10 by Sigma. And just smiling it up and putting it on, you know, you get that weird face when you put on blush. It's super cute. And I'm just going to kind of take away any excess powder with an F23 by Sigma, or F37 by Sigma, sorry. And I'm just going to wipe that away. Now using Poodle and Caddy, I'm using a tiny little brush from Sigma, I believe. Yes, I believe it is Sigma. I will find out the number. And I'm just going to put this on the lower lash line, blending these colors together. I'm just kind of connecting the whole look. I wanted to use that pretty purple color to just 
give it a little bit of a different effect. So pretty. And it's the same reflect color that is in the Slave to Paint. I'm using Tickled with a 2.7 brush by Sammy. And I'm just putting that on the inner corner and the brow bone. Just popping that on there. And then I really wanted to use Moonstruck too, so I put that on the inner corner as well. And I like that I did this because it did, you know, blend with the race you a little better and making that a little bit more of a white gold. Just putting some more mascara on the lower lash line. Same Too Faced mascara. Just separating those lashes. And then I'm just gonna kind of put some on the top as well, just because I want the lashes to kind of stick together. Gonna wipe away any excess powder with the F37 again. And then for highlight, I'm using the Queen Drip Highlighter by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm wetting my brush with Fix Plus. This is an M501 and just, I mean, I just love the way this looks. I know that um, M Emma Mitchell <laughs> uses that technique. He basically sprays like the Morphe brushes setting spray and uh, puts this highlight all over. Just lets it sit on the brush for a little bit and just, you know, dips it in highlight and, and it looks really beautiful. So I wanted to try that. I've tried that before, but um, I usually wet the brush and then wet it right into, or put it right into the highlight. I kind of waited like a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting on Candy K. Love this liner. This was like my baby. This, this liner was like my everything for a really long time. It still is, like it's still one of my main go-tos. I kind of fell back into using MAC again too. But this one was like my main bitch. I'm using Morphe Beguiling. This is one of their Molten Magic um, lip glosses or lip toppers. Such a beautiful color. And these lip toppers are insane. I wonder if they are still in stock. I'm sure I will show you guys if they are. I hope they are because they, they come in like a little pack of 12 different colors. So you guys will see below. I hope that they are. I'm pretty sure they are. I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Mist Spray to set. And that's it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this pink power makeup tutorial. I really loved it, and I'm just so excited that I'm using more color lately. I hope you guys have been enjoying these looks. I know that I've been trying to use more color instead of neutrals, because you guys know me. I'm a super neutral girl. So let me know what you guys think below. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and like this video if you've enjoyed it. Please, please, please. That helps me so much. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.